sunshine. This is what every Canadian's dream is made of here. Tim Hortons coffee. It's actually not coffee, it's tea. And it's not even Tim Hortons tea, I'm just using the, reusing the cup from last night. Yo, what's going on people of the interweb that's that guy? Not locks, not nay, shun, not your average dread tuber. Today we're looking at Matt Ox, freeform lock. You should call him Matt Lock from now on. This kid, definitely more dedicated than I could ever expect in the lock community. And I, I really give up uh, a lot of appreciation to Matt for sticking to his roots here and, and staying committed to having his hair lock in a true freeform manner on Caucasian type one hair. Um, <clears throat> Cause I'm sure he catches a lot of grief from it uh, on the internet from people. But I love just to see this, just how he's in his natural state growing his locks these days. So without further ado, let's check in on Matt Ox and see what his locks are about. Um, he was here on the No Jumper podcast a couple days ago talking about his hair. So let's just see what he was saying. And you can kind of see here how frizzy and wild his hair currently is. He's got one dread hanging down the front of his face that seems pretty matured at the tip. Veteran. Swear. Matt Ox. Everything. We On are, everything. We back. We back. Type. You remember that first one? You type. kept saying type. Type. Because you weren't allowed to. You can see this. You can see this lock right here. It's kind of like crinkly and wavy on a natural tip. So a lot of his hair is still in the wispy stages, but as the years go on, they are gonna lock up and start to mature and tighten up a lot more. I'm just really glad that he's embracing this part of the journey. Swear so back well. then, because you were saying type shit after right, everything. Right, And then type. we went uh, to do the interview and you just kept saying type. <laughs> I don't think and he remembers. People were so confused at home because <laughs> they didn't know that saying type shit is like a normal thing that you were saying at the time. Right. That was weird. Also, you have uh, like one dreadlock in your face. Like, oh what happened with that? Oh, God, he said. And look at the back of his hair. You can see some more locks that are forming. He's just asking, like, what happened with that? Like, they're freeform locks, man. I, 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 I don't know, know, bro. Look at this one. Oh, this joint crazy. Bro. You're really just doing your thing with the hair, huh? It's just happening. Oh, wow. This is life. This is how cultural appropriation happens. Just... That's not true. It's, that's messed up that he said that there. This is not how cultural appropriation happens. Every, dreadlocks is for everyone, dude. Everyone can grow dreads. It's not for any specific. Totally the dreads. You can see a lot of them in the front of his hair now, like starting to thicken up. It's just not up. Who is calling you? My brother not seen. I okay. can't pick it up though, cause we on the interview. We are on the interview. How I you give live? no jumper respect. I and you can see another dread right here, kind of flops. So they, they are like they are forming. It's just hard to see them at first glance because he's got so much loose hair around them. But as he pulls them out and starts showing them here, you can see that um, there is some evidence. Appreciate of that. Here. These, Adam22 should actually just interview him on his locks. Yeah, because right. we did your first interview. We went viral as hell when we yeah, started no out. respect's an illusion. Wow, you see the size of that dread there? This one's got some good thickness to it that he's playing with there. Respect's an illusion. Damn, and a lot of them are very flat and thick as well. It's crazy illusion? to see the shape hey, that are taking in here. Yeah, he sees it right here. This lock right here is massive. That's probably his biggest dread. And you can see that it's kind of blunted down here with the big wispy tip that's also see dreaded. respect now be <laughs> adam's so lost he's talking about can you see the dread and he's talking about can you see the respect no but you can't see like the air either and you know it's there right you guys are not talking about the same topics at all but is it saying <laughs> nah i feel you <laughs> but that's like a chemical you feel like that's like you know what i'm trying to say <laughs> He said that's like a chemical, like, you know what I'm trying to say? I mm, have no idea. A chemical. <laughs> Can we talk about the dreads again? Might have been please? tough though. Oh my God, I'll talk about the dreads. If you look at the back of his head, normally this part of the area is what locks the heaviest, but it seems like his nape is still in the loose hairs. There's another big dread happening right here on the, on the back of his head. So I mean, these are true. These are true freeform dreads and very messy. And it's just, it's just cool to see them that you're right taking now. them in this way. 15. And, and how do you feel? Like, and he's 15, growing locks like this. Do you feel like a 15-year-old? you feel like somebody who's been through a lot? Sometimes I feel like I'm a thousand years old. <laughs> it's just on the mood, you feel? I don't know. <laughs> his, head, his hair is all over right. the place. It's just it. Do you feel like blowing up at such a young age just had like a crazy effect on your brain? Because you were just sort of steadily evolving for all those years, and all of a sudden, bam! It was just, I was exposed went crazy. to a lot, you feel me? Mm. He talks deep for a 15-year-old. Holy shit. 
it was just happening. You feel me? Mm. It wasn't like I was in the streets or like I. I mean, essentially, that's all they talk about. Yeah, that's pretty much all they. That's pretty much all they're talking about about his vlog. So they don't really touch on too much of a subject here. Let's go to his Instagram page and see what's happening over here maybe he's got some new photos of his lock i mean the no the no jumper interview kind of showed his locks at a pretty good stage there whereas like it's more clear than in, even in this photo right here i mean i mean it was just a quick little update i wish that they would have talked more about his lock on that no jumper interview and that's okay it just means i gotta get a hold of matt ox myself and do an interview on his dreads um so it's cool to see some progression in his locks. It's cool to see that the journey is alive still. And I'm interested to see, you know, he's only 15 now. Like when he gets to 25 years from now, is he gonna have locks like down to the floor, all free form, kind of like Ichabod Vane styles? That's where they're kind of leading towards. Is if he keeps growing his locks like this, he'll definitely be more on the Ichabod Veins type where they're just super thick, very frizzy and messy, kind of gnarly looking dreadlocks. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this kind of lock journey and I'll definitely, you know, give you guys some hearts in the comments. But until next time, I'm gonna head out. Peace out, one love, and I'll see you in the next dreadlock update. I'm gone. Dreadlock.